Following up on our breaking news story that we started the show with, I wanted to go back to Paris and the streets of Paris. And I want to learn more about the flames which have engulfed the Notre Dame Cathedral. Charlotte Dubinsky joins us live to give us an update. Charlotte, it's gone nightfall now. Can you still see flames in the air? We can. We can still see flames at the heart of Notre Dame Cathedral. In fact, uh, just before we came in there, I was having a quick peek behind me, and it looked like uh, the emergency services have been able to get into some parts of the cathedral. It looked like lights were shining at the top of the bell towers, those two iconic bell towers at the front of this cathedral. They're standing 69 meters high. That gives you a sense of how big this fire was, because at one point those flames were licking those bell towers. We understand from reports that the roof in the center of Notre Dame has collapsed as well as the spire in the center and it looks like the inside has just been not just full of flames but those embers from the flames actually being spat out by that fire and then heaved across Paris. In fact we're about 150 meters away from the cathedral and in fact the embers at one point were landing on us. Uh, that's how far that they were being brought along, embers that were still red hot, giving you a sense of just how hot that fire was. This iconic building, 850 odd years of history up in flames in just over an hour. The firefighters working hard to try and control it, but those flames and that fire is still raging inside. President Macron of France has already been to visit the site to see what's happening, and I've been speaking to some of the people around me about what Notre Dame means to them and somebody said you know this is our heart it's the heart of Paris can you imagine the heart of your city going up in flames this is one of the most visited iconic structures in the world 12 million people make their pilgrim here every year just to come and see this beautiful building which is an incredible vision of French Gothic architecture something unparalleled across the world world. People shocked, tragic. In fact, crowds have gathered just watching with bated breath to see what will happen to their beloved cathedral. It's somewhere I've spent many hours myself inside, outside, looking at the beautiful sculptures, looking at all the work that went into this building that was started construction in the 1100s and, and finished about 100 years later. It is iconic. It is gothic. It is Paris. In fact, it was built to show that Paris was not just the political and, and uh, economic powerhouse of France, but also the cultural house of France. And that's how many people feel. They feel as if the culture of France, those hundreds of years of history, have gone up in flames tonight. And it's with a heavy heart that many Parisians and the people who are visiting Paris are watching this site unfold. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.